Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Little Rainbow Trout Streamer. This is a Sam Saymaker Fly, and the recipe comes from Joseph Bates' book, Streamers and Bucktails, The Big Fish Flies. Recommends that you tie it in sizes 2 through 12. The hook we're going to use today is a Daiichi 2220 in size 6. That's their 4 extra long streamer hook. And our thread is Danville's Black in 6 aught. We'll get our thread started about an eye length and a half behind the hook eye. We're right back to the start of the bend of the hook, which will be just about over the gouge. Looks about right. First material we're going to tie in is going to be some green bucktail for the tail of the fly. So we'll snip off just a small clump. Kind of hand stack these. Doesn't seem to work so well on a hair stacker. And we want this to be just a little bit longer than the gap of the hook. I'll jump our thread forward and then wrap back. It's always one, isn't there? I just find that that's an easier way to capture all that unruly hair. And back up to our tie-in point where we're going to tie our rib in, and that's Uni French tinsel. It's uh, an embossed tinsel and the color is silver. Pull off a small piece. And we'll tie this in on the near side of the hook and wrap back to the base of the tail. For the body of the fly, we're going to use some super fine dubbing and the color we're going to use is Hendrickson Pink. The original recipe called for a light pink body and we're going to put this on in fairly sparse increments so that we're able to control the thickness of the body. We want it to have a bit of a taper. That looks good. Now we'll wrap our rib forward. Some nice, even, open spiral turns. Cut off our excess. And next we're going to tie in our throat. And for the throw of the fly, just some pink bucktail. Cut off a small clump. Everything about this fly is kind of sparse. There's a lot of materials to tie in. Oh, we want that right about there. Okay, for the wing of the fly, the beginning is going to be some white bucktail. And we've got white, green, pink, and some badger guard hairs to tie in the top. So 
you need to keep this nice and sparse or the head will be much larger than you want it to be. So we'll get a small clump of the white, pull out all the shorts, hand stack it if you think it's necessary. And we want the wing to be just a little bit longer than the tail. I'll tie that in right on top of the hook shank behind the eye. Make sure we're on top, and we are. I'll tighten that down. Next, some green. And the green is going to go right on top of the white, same length. Loose turns, make sure it's where you want it. And we'll tighten it up. Pink, the last color. And we'll lay that in, same length as the green, right on top. A few loose wraps to make sure it's where we want it. Looks okay. And finally, the badger hair. And what we're looking for are these nice long guard hairs. There's a lot of fluff underneath. So let's see if we can't grab just the tips like so. We'll get rid of all this fluffy stuff underneath that we don't want tied in. There. Perfect. Oh, these are going to get tied in right on top of the pink. Tighten that up. Cut our excess off. Jump our thread forward to the eye and start wrapping back to capture all that material. And we'll take our whip finish tool, four or five turn whip finish. See it or not. Cut our thread. And add some head cement. And there you have it, our fly is finished.